Here, go back there, guys. Go back around the trucks or something. Uh, we have another, it's a happy client video without the happy client because the uh, Robert 67 was taken. Uh, but uh, here's the details that were done right before uh, the car left yesterday. So here it is. Robert is happy, rest assured. And his car is now Sayonara, baby. Woo! Woo! The, uh, the old uh, window regulator out. And we have just installed the new window regulator in. And I have got <clears throat> this back track here that bolts down here below the uh, behind the piston so I have it aligned now to where I can take this one bolt out again because usually they have a slot down here so you put the bolt in the track and then line it up with this hole and then you slide it you know you slide it down in place bolt it up here tighten it up and then tighten the rest of your bolts up and you're good to go so that's what we're currently doing now and then we will lube up the rest of the uh, uh, window tracking in there and uh, she'll be good to go. I was got the window regulator and everything bolted in and stuff and I had a one piece to put in there which is an up stop so it stops the crank to going up to a certain position so it doesn't overshoot it and I had to hold my light at the same time and I'm going well I've only got two hands so what am I gonna do so it did dawn on me I bought this nice handy dandy flexible uh, positioning flashlight holder and I've had it for a long time I figured well this would probably be just as good as the time to use it and it swivels and it turns its magnetic bottom which I hope nobody has a magnetic bottom because they'll never get out of a ch metal chair if they do and it positions it just nice you can go look right down into the hole down there and finagle your tools around or whatever you're gonna do you got light shining on it and it looks like brand new because it is because I've only used it once other than this time. So, handy tool. I recommend it for anybody that, uh, that uh, does turn wrenches or home use or anything like that. It's, it's great. All right, here's your regulator. It's in place. All lubed up. Working. And voila. And one working regulator again. All right, we have the we have the top up now and everything. It's a little bit difficult to uh, to get up and get latched. One reason is because there's cables somewhere about right here, let's say, in an estimate on both sides, with an adjustment on one end that is used to adjust the uh, two and four forward motion on both sides as well as you know the pitch and stuff there's other adjustments on the uh, linkage too uh, that you can adjust the linkage and everything so everything fits flat and square here uh, it's not doing that the cable on this side is coming apart and completely freighted out so it's not doing any good on this side whatsoever it needs to be replaced uh, my recommendation would be replace both cables on both sides so they're brand new, they're both even, and they both have the uh, proper amount of adjustment threads and everything on so we can go ahead and, you know, and do that. Uh, so my advice would be uh, is, is to replace those and uh, see what we can do about adjusting it to make it more better to uh, close for you.